Right, so I'm back on Arma 3 Edict, so yeah, in the last episode, I shot, well, I shot one person, go shot the other person, but I feel like I nearly shot two people, although I did notice in the editing there that uh, my zeroing was actually off, because you can very vaguely see in the top right corner if you got a scope attached that uh, there is in fact zeroing. Oh, uh, now I actually know, it's uh, my recording software actually blocking that out, so I wasn't blind. That's actually good news. The, the overlay, you can't see this, but I can see it. The overlay is like directly on top of the zeroing. So I thought you had actually no indication of what zeroing you were on. But apparently you do, so I probably want to actually change the location of that. Um, but anyways, we're back. I'm still on the same character. I'm probably going to die in this character. My character right now also is still not doing very hot. But I got Vizuki down there in Grishino. Uh, getting me some lovely water, so I'm gonna be drinking that water, and hopefully I'm gonna be regenerating some health so I can uh, stop moaning. There was blood on my arm before as well, but uh, yeah, I made it out of that alive. I told Goat not to loot that guy. Turns out I was right. It's uh, probably a bad idea to go loot somebody if you still know there is actually somebody around, but uh, yeah, that's that's my wisdom right there. I may suck at shooting, but I'm very wise. Sometimes. Anyway, so we got this AR-15 right here, which I'm probably actually going to equip. I hope I got some max for this, too. Yeah, I'm going to equip this one, because I got a Trigicon ACOX, so that should work out a tiny bit better. That's Suzuki right there, sneaking up on me. Uh, let's see, where's the Trigicon ACOX? There we go, Trigicon ACOX. Ah, oh, man, beautiful. Ah, uh, it's not the one I want, actually. This is not the... No. Well, it's still good enough. I mean, it's better than the AK scope, I guess. Two magazines for this thing is also pretty good. So I'm gonna heal up first with that beautiful water, and then uh, I guess we're gonna continue on and try and shoot some more people. Or get shot at. Either one of those two. Okay, so far I'm really enjoying Edict. It's definitely giving me some flashbacks to uh, my time in Day Zero. It's pretty much the same, actually. Just on Arma 3, where I'm considerably worse at shooting people, apparently. But, you know, it's cool. I had a good time playing Day Zero a long, long time ago with Cyrus, and uh, this is just as hardcore, actually more hardcore what's with the radio, so I'm having a good time on this, so we're gonna be playing some more of this. Copy uh, God damn it, I'm gonna be fucking sick like this forever, man. It's... Uh, you know, like, are you actually thirsty or you just need blood? Uh, I need blood, but I'm also thirsty, but I got some blowbacks on me, actually. So it gets right out. Do they work just the same as an A2? Uh, Red, could you blood me now? Uh, does that give you all your blood or not? Wait, I'm slowly seeing more colors. Right. Man, you are just a, a lifesaver. Uh, Red. Red, where do we want to go? Sounds like a good idea. Well, actually not. We're probably gonna get absolutely murdered. Sort of tree lines surrounding it and stuff are you careful. I know, last time around we were actually on the airstrip and there seemed to be nobody there, but then we went fucking over here and there was suddenly two people around the white barn, so uh seems to be rather random. Mm, it's just the way people plan this. So just get a sniper, I don't wanna go on the airfield, no just like going around the outside town or that. I don't know, I think it's pretty much the same as in Day Zero, and that it's pretty much just like the starry northwest bubble is always busy. And northeast. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's like north is where all the big boys go to get sniped. You got a map? Negative. Why though? There's an airdrop just come in. Do those get marked on your map? Nah, if you got a mobile phone, it gives you the uh, cords at the bottom right. Huh. Also, what's with the first person? I'm almost considering plugging my track IR in again to use that, because that's actually pretty good to use for first person only. I'm just kind of lazy when it comes to plugging that thing in, but it would definitely be cool on this, because I wouldn't have to use Alt and move my mouse to look around. I could just use my head. I'm not really in any need of gear. Well, I could use some static mags, but that's about it. So, if we just like scope the place out, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna check the hangers real quick. And to your back left. 
think someone's been checking these because uh, the doors are closed. Oh shit, player, player to the right uh, by the blue fence. And across the field. I'm hit by someone else. I'm fucked here. This is not good. You still up? Wait, do I have a spare mag or not? I'm confused. Right, well, he's dead. Um. Alright, uh, Fazuki is dead. This thing. I thought I had a spare mag, but apparently I don't. I'm gonna run a bit north. Let's see, definitely killed that guy that was right next to me. As for the dude across, I definitely hit him, I'm just not sure whether or not I downed him. Probably not, but... And having a tad bit too quick for me to really register what happened. I'm kinda fucked here though, and I'm pretty sure I can't sell blowback. I think you need somebody else for that. Yeah. What the fuck? And I'm not sure why it wouldn't reload then. Unless this is a special mag. Okay. Well, apparently plain old Stanag does not work on this assault rifle, even though I'm pretty sure in real life those Stanag mags are almost universal, because even the fucking saw could use them, so that sounds like a bunch of BS right there. But, uh, yeah, one mag. Which, uh, was used pretty successfully. But let's rather continue here. I mean, I could run away, but I kind of don't want to. But I'm not really in a fighting shape right here. Because I'm kind of fucked here. Extremely gray skilled and kind of thirsty right here, so uh, I can't reach and blood on my own. I need some drinks for that. So, yeah. I don't know, fuck it. I'm just going to YOLO it, because uh, why not? And I wish my guy would stop moaning. Also, I can't really see shit. But I'm sneaking up very stealthily with an MP5K. This is definitely going to work. I can feel it. Alright, that is the guy I shot right there. That's for this other dude. If I did down him, he's gonna be around there somewhere. The question though is, did I down him? Yeah, somewhere around the edge here. But I'm leaning towards no. And the question though is, where the fuck did he go? Yeah, this is gonna be uh, slightly problematic. Wait. That could be this guy picking up the fucking radio. 
maybe. Okay. I can hear somebody inside. Okay, this is definitely not a good idea. <laughs> I am so going to fucking die, it's amazing. Then I have absolutely no fucking clue as to where the fuck this guy went. I truly don't. At least we got somewhat of a better weapon though. I mean, I definitely heard somebody speak in his hangar, so unless he logged off. Which is possible. Which is kind of lame. Man, I need to reach it and I'm gonna get out of here. I can't really get to that one body. Because there's a zombie on top of it, and in order to kill it, I gotta shoot, which would draw the other player to my location if he's still around, so I'm not going to risk that. Uh, instead, we just see whether or not I can run north. I have no fucking clue as to where the fuck that guy went. Like, I heard that frequency, so I thought he might have actually picked up my radio. And again, one of my other teammates might actually be on and using the frequency. Or it's just some random fucking person on the frequency. A chance of that are quite low. I don't know. What I do know is that this was a very close one. I should have probably died there, but I didn't. But yeah, I really gotta heal up. My guy is definitely not doing too hot right now. He's got like five bullet holes in him. It's probably the vest that saved my life too. That vest definitely soaked up some damage there. 